Imagine if your job was to operate this 17-pound hand grinder wearing all this protective gear six to eight hours a day, five days a week. The repetitive nature of this strenuous process causes many carpal tunnel and back injuries, which are very costly to the shipyards. U.S. published statistics indicate that a single carpal tunnel case with surgical correction has an average cost of $46,000, not including return to work limitations and workers' compensation costs. In addition, at three feet per hour, hand grinding is very slow, further increasing production costs. To address these issues, the U.S. Navy Manufacturing Technology Program directed the Navy Metalworking Center, which is operated by Concurrent Technologies Corporation, to lead the development and implementation of a technology to reduce the amount of hand grinding of weld reinforcement on hull and deck seams on the DDG-1000 class ships, which have a stringent exterior surface fairness requirement. An integrated project team was assembled to develop a tool to automatically remove weld protrusion. The tool requirements were tailored to operate in a rugged shipyard service environment. As a result, the Navy Metalworking Center developed an automated weld removing concept that used a commercially available weld shaver from Pushcorp Incorporated. The weld shaver is attached to a variable speed carriage that travels on an aluminum track. The track is attached to the ferrous panel, which can be a ship hull or deck, using powerful rare earth magnets, or to non-ferrous panels using vacuum cups. Pushcorp was then tasked to develop the tool for shipyard implementation and commercialization. The end result is the TWS-91 track weld shaver system. This technology is being used by Bath Iron Works and Northrop Grumman Shipbuilding during the construction of DDG-1000 and several other ships. In the case of this 3 inch wide by 12 foot long weld, the track weld shaver system reduced the number of man hours required to fare the weld seam by 75%. The major benefits of using the track weld shaver system are a dramatic reduction in manual hand grinding and associated medical and production costs, weld removal rates up to 120 feet per hour, metal shavings that can be recycled versus airborne contamination associated with grinding, and the ability to utilize the technology for other applications such as back gouging and sanding. Weld back gouging is currently done using manual carbon arc gouging, which can contribute to weld joint thermal distortion, emits noise levels requiring double hearing protection, and produces fumes requiring respirator protection. This repetitive and slow process adversely impacts shipyard medical and production costs. Using the same track, carriage and controller from the track weld shaver system, installation of the back gouge tool is simply accomplished by removing one pin and two electrical quick disconnects. In about one minute, the weld shaver has become a back gouger without the use of any hand tools. The back gouger has demonstrated it can perform mechanical back gouging at rates exceeding 40 feet per hour, significantly exceeding the manual carbon arc rate of 3 feet per hour. The technology can also be used for final surface blending of a weld. As with the back gouging operation, the weld shaver is removed and a belt sander from Pushcorp is put in its place. This multi-use capability further increases the value of this technology to the shipyards and industry. As a result of this Navy Mantech project, the team has developed a commercially available tool that reduces workforce injuries, shipbuilding costs, environmental issues, and improves the process for achieving DDG-1000 fairness requirements. Furthermore, the tool can be used to support multiple industry requirements. Manual weld preparation processes, as slow as 3 feet per hour, can now be performed at rates exceeding 120 feet per hour for shaving and 40 feet per hour for back gouging. 